Today we're going to be looking at whether or not Roombo First Blood on Nintendo Switch is worth a fiver. Have you ever wanted to play a game where you controlled a Roomba vacuum to clean your house? I'm going to assume you probably said no. But, what if instead of cleaning dirt you were cleaning blood? Blood that came as you defended your house from intruders that got caught in the traps after they break in to steal your valuables. Well, now that I have your attention, please smash that like button and subscribe if you're new here, and with that, let's get to it. Roomba is a neat and different idea. You take control of a robot vacuum cleaner and protect the valuables in your house from intruders while the owners are away. What an unexpected feature of their new vacuum purchase. Intruders enter your house through the windows, and it is up to you to stop them by injuring them on different things throughout the household. You do this by entering hack mode and activating the traps throughout the house. The sprinkler will create a puddle of water that will cause an intruder to slip and fall, ceiling fans will overload and fall towards the floor, and clicking on electrical items like the TV will create a shockwave and immobilize anyone around it. You can hide under furniture to avoid detection after being spotted, and can only take three kicks before breaking down. I do not personally have a robot vacuum cleaner, but I feel the handling of Roombo to be pretty realistic. Not being able to turn sharply, if not at a stop, gives what I think is an accurate feel to the controls. An update to the controls actually provides easier movement, but this doesn't feel quite as natural. That being said, the controls are not perfect. You tend to get caught on walls, doors, and the intruders themselves quite often, and if you're caught in between multiple intruders, you are likely going to take a hit or three while trying to escape. I could also not really get a hang of the ram, which activates once your thirst for blood has been quenched and your blood bar fills, allowing you to inflict damage to the intruders. The main problem I really have with Roombo is the variety. I really like the concept at play here, but unfortunately there is only one house to protect, and each level consists of an additional intruder for you to neutralize, and suddenly you are finished after only six levels. There are a few game modes that unlock after you finish. That includes House of Knives, Stealth, and Small Thieves, but it's still all in the same house. After you complete each level, you are given a rank based on Intruders Neutralized, Valuable Saved, Trap Accuracy, and Percentage Clean. You can play to get the highest ranks, but in terms of comprehensive replayability, there really isn't any. Roomba is an interesting game idea come to life, which I was pretty excited to sink some time into. But the problem is that there really isn't enough variety here to keep you playing and sink hours into the game. As of this publishing in November 2020, Roombo is available until the 30th of the month in the Canadian Switch eShop at its all-time lowest price of $2.51, which is 60% off its regular retail of $6.29. I realistically think that a Roombo 2, which to my knowledge has not been announced yet, if it included a couple more locations and some new traps, this would be for sure a must-buy for me. But seeing as you can potentially get through all the levels in this game in well under an hour, I think that even though it's a cool game idea and it executed relatively well, the experience was too short and Roombo is unfortunately not worth a fiver. Have you played Roombo? Do you agree with my review? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.